Instagram. It's me, T. From the Patterson's taking the train. Yeah, still healing. Oh, it's gonna take some time. Whatever. Look, I gotta show you something. Look, I'm. Uh, let me turn this around so I have to look at my face. It's gonna turn around. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So, uh, it's um, uh, I'm uh, you know, whatever days. My birthday is July third, and there's a there's a thing with the rush execution cycles. We're 52 days before I guess the chance around here. Talk to you, right? 52 days before your birthday. It's what's called a critical period, right? Like that. Undeclaredness. Hey, whoever you are, I don't know you. Um, uh, 52, 52 days before your birthday is what's called your critical cycle. It's this, it's this whole thing with the Rosicutians, like uh, every 50, don't worry about it. Just know that 52 days before your birthday is your critical cycle. That's when people usually, you know, have problems, let's put it that way. And so every year, I've known this for a long, 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 long time. So every year when it's coming, like basically May, May 12th, is when I start to, whoa, dee -dee 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 -dee. and I start being careful, don't make rash decisions, you know, people getting on your, on your, on your, um, getting on your case, or whatever, having people upsetting you, don't get upset, right? Okay. But every year, I, what I do is, uh, because of that, recent, recently, as in recent years, I, 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 actually I've been doing this for a while. I take that 52 day period and I, I do something, you know what I mean? And I do it every day, I, I do a 52 day thing, right? So this year, one day I did like 52 days of silence, you know, that was interesting. A long time ago when I was in um, Delray Beach, Florida, I had this thing where I did, uh, what did I do? Uh, I did a poem, with the, I do stuff, right? So this year, um, I decided what I'm going to do is I'm going to write a dialogue, right? Uh, because uh, in Dimbaza, uh, actually in Zebalaza, they built a theater. We have a theater in Dr. Zebalaza, and so I have a standing in that theater, you know, so I'm creating an audio drama unit, uh, you know, uh, a, a, what do you call it, a repertory company. And so I have some people that I'm training to write, or they're knuckleheads, I'm telling you, well, we don't say anything about them. Anyway, so I give them, I'm telling, giving them classes, right? Uh, so here's what I'm going to do. Um, so what I started to do, I started to write every day. But I was trying to explain to them how to how to how to write and how to do it because okay, let me go. Let me be a, a full disclosure. Uh, I've been writing I've been writing at least poetry since like 1970, yeah, 1971 officially, you know. And I've been writing, and I went to graduate school for playwriting. I think I went to graduate school for playwriting. Um, that was like two and a half years, three years, whatever it is, and. Anyway, I, I write plays, I write poetry, I write s stories, whatever have you. So, I'm, and I've been writing since for a long time, right? And I've been live audio drama since, you know, 80, whatever, 86, whatever it is. So anyway, so this year, I decided to uh, to do an audio drama. Well, to do it, audio drama is based on dialogue. If you know how to write dialogue, then you can write, you can write everything. If you know how to write dialogue, you write uh, probably novels, you can write novels, you can write, uh, you're, you're actually a playwright, you know, you a bunch of stuff. You can write comic books, whatever it is. So this year, uh, I, I got two, three people. They're supposed to be following me. They're not following me, but they're supposed to be doing what I'm doing, right? So I, I gave them some instructions, right? And see, here's how you first start out. First, you have to do like, say, well, they're all from the post-up culture, so, so they have a lineage. You know what I mean? They they have they know their clan name. So I told them to write their clan name down, right there, and then start from there. And so each clan. In the clan name, you should have someone member from each name. You, you, you get the attributes to them, right? And then you know you, you have a character you can create that. Since I'm um, I'm like American African, and we don't you know our clan got got, like, got split, you know, going to America the whole you know through the middle passes all that stuff. So I I've done some different. I have a lot of names. All these years I've had a lot of names. So I, so the first thing I do uh, I create these names and I get now I'll turn this around so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so uh, I better put my glasses. No, I don't need my glasses. Uh, so, so all these th these are my names, with, with my attributes from these names. Like like Anthony is the main the main cat, the main cat, like the main man, right? Then you have Anthony J, which is like consciousness. Uh, T from the Patterson is taking the taking the trench to Tibet. Um, T speaks frankly, and that's my known the known the which is my radio you know, when I'm on the air radio name. Uh, Sloan is the leader, makes final decisions. He's a well, he's like the general, right? AJ Sloan is the fact checker. Uh, Anthony J Sloan is the formal writer. Uh, like when I write a play, I'll say whatever. Uh, uh, Anthony J T Sloan is the my fraternity uh, name, my fraternity brother. Uh, Tony Sloan was the first the first thing in the poetry thing. So that's actually runs together. Well, it does run together. 
Tony Sloan is an investigator, I suppose, in lowercase letters, and he's like the the, uh, the wordsmith, you know, because I started writing poetry because, well, I couldn't spell very well. And so what I did was I used, well, I started to learn how to spell better by being, being a poet. Then Tony Sloan, 1971, that's like the second alliteration of the poetry. It's like the stepped up and uh, it's more of a political poet and, and performance poet and stuff like that. Um, then you have Lajote. Lajote is my African name, my African essence. Uh, then you have Anthony John. That's the travel name. Now, you, all these people who think that they, like when you travel, when you, they look at your passport, when they, they're calling you, they, they they won't call me. They won't. They won't say Mr. Sloan. They'll say in the passport. My, well, passport. My passport's right here. I, I'll show you what it says. Hey, hold on a second. I want to be thorough. I don't want you all to, you know, be deprived of anything. So when you in, on your passport, the way the American passport is, I think all passports are like that. You see, you'll have. Like it'll have like Anthony John, right? The Sloan is up there, but that Anthony John. So they'll call Anthony John, you know. And it, and plus, never. I know everybody wants to be something else, but you're American when you travel. This that's why I call myself an American African. But we'll get into that some other time. Um, so so my just a traveler is a uh, is a uh, um, what was that? Anthony John, uh, brother Anthony Sloan, it's like brother Anthony or brother Sloan. That's the teacher or the sensei, right? And then you have the poet, Anthony. That's the, my current alliteration as a poet, right? And, um, and so, so basically the poets are, are uh, 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 where's my poets? Uh, Tony Sloan, uh, uh, Tony Sloan, 1971, and then I've been at the poet, Anthony, for a very long time. So those are the characters that's just running down the page, okay? So then I start writing. Now the writing process is very interesting because you know, there's certain logical things that happen. Now, first of all, writing is very lonely. No, well, sorry, well, it's, you, you have to have the utmost discipline. So I started out with uh, A.J. Sloan saying, hey, poet, and then, then uh, um, uh, what you doing? Now, the poet doesn't answer you right away. Then then Tony Sloan says, he's working on da 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 Then finally, when we get down, where is the poet at? All these people have this dialogue until we get to the poet. Um, because the poet is writing a poem, and, and and when you write poetry, you don't have just one. You your first draft of your poem is your first draft of your poem. People think to just write some words down, then they'll say, "Oh, I'm, I wrote my poem." No, it doesn't work like that. You got to do some work on it. So uh, the poet's first words is, uh, "Should have uh, spotted this long ago." In other words, what happened was they he's, he's working uh, he's working on something, and he he, he finds a mistake, so he's, he he says that right. And then it keeps on, keeps on going. I should, I should well. So I've been writing every every day, maybe one to two, one to three pages a day. So here's all the pages I wrote. And it's a dialogue between all these all these different characters, like that. Um, so now I've been writing for I don't know how many days I've been writing for, but we have 13, 13, what, more than 13, 14, 15, uh, 15 uh, entries. And like sometimes you might write one page, well that's not true, I'll write two pages. Sometimes you might write, write, write one page, sometimes you write two pages, whatever it is. So uh, this last today, this started in 12, what day is today? Whatever day is today, so it's been 12, 13, 14, it's only, only four days I've been writing. And so I'm up to whatever. So as you see, I, I, I write the, uh, uh, whoever, whoever the, the voice is, and then I have a space, da, da, da. so I have room for editing, stuff like that. Well, as I was writing, like I said, I don't know what I'm going to write next. I follow the logic of whatever is being said. It's a sort of logical thing. So, like when, uh, well, like when Sloan makes an appearance, right there, they were anticipating he makes an appearance. The Sloan says some stuff. Da 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 da. Then when he goes, he goes. It's 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 it's, it's logical if you follow me, right? So at some particular point, uh, the poet Anthony, the poet Anthony, he comes back in. And he's working on a poem. He's working on another poem. He worked on. A, he was working on a poem uh, when he when we first uh, met him, right, a few pages back. Now he's working on another poem. And so what happens is uh, when uh, this one song leaves here. Uh, anyway, he's working on a poem. Then then they say, "What you?" Uh, they have a, they have a little dialogue, and then then at some particular point, the poet says, uh, 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 "What are you? What are you working on? Something like that." And he says, oh, yeah, I'm working on, on this, right? So he's working on a poem. And then they said, well, uh, uh, so Tony Stone says, uh, so, uh, forgive me uh, uh, for taking a peek, but it looks like a uh, cons uh, consava. 
And he said, and then, then A.J. Sloan says, sure does. And Anthony says, oh, I like those. Right then the poet says, well, here it goes, because he's going to give the kusaba. Now, here we go. Now, you might say, well, what's a kusaba? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, kusaba is a, is a thing that uh, Eugene B. Redmond, uh, poet, uh, East St. Louis poet, uh, uh, and, you know, I've known him for quite a while, uh, Henry Dumas, uh, Denizen, whatever, um, and he has a writer's club in, in East St. Louis, uh, the Eugene Redmond uh, Writer's Club. Uh, and before the pandemic, uh, I, I visited them several times, uh, and I was going to actually join, you know, pay some dues, you know, pay some whatever. Uh, so well, anyway, he just he uh, he was follower of uh, the whole uh, uh, long long time ago when you have the uh, Kwanzaa Kwanzaa celebrations, you know, Karanga started his Kwanzaa thing. But he uses the principle he used the principle of Kwanzaa just to to invent this uh, poetry form. It's a, a kusaba is a is a form of poetry. Basically, uh, you're you're doing. Um, Oh, I, read it? Oh, I wrote it in my other day. Yeah, it's uh, it's a forty nine word poem. Forty nine word poem. It exists on on uh, on seven words for seven or less words a line, and for seven lines. Okay, that's it. Sometimes I make it more difficult for myself. Oh, difficult. And I make sure that each. Well, I won't say what I do, like that. So this. So so as the, as the story goes, what was has what has been on my mind the whole Gaza thing. So I. I've, I've done, well, I should say the poet, Anthony, you know, the poet Anthony, he's done a poem, um, uh, oh, let me go back here, uh, for the whole Gaza situation. And this is, like most poem, like I said, this, this is the, how it first started, I put a separate piece of paper. This was the first draft, and it was started out as called Warning of the Upheaval, right? Then I had to, uh, then, I make, then, then I wrote, then I took and made another draft of it, and I changed certain things and, and made things happen. And then finally I came up with the name that I'm going to use now, which is, I'll, I'll go to this page right now, which is uh, Heal a Heal. Heal a Heal is the name of the poem. It's a Kosaba towards, Kosaba towards Gaza. Uh, now, the reason why I'm talking to you all, you know, you, you find folks about this because tomorrow night, Saturday, yeah, Saturdays, uh, here in uh, Oroville, there's a place called uh, uh, Artist Cafe, and they have an open mic. I, a couple of weeks ago, I did a, a little story, and so I'm, I'm going to do this poem. Then, and then next week, the 25th, is the Africa Day, so I'm going to do a little, a little, a thing there, a little speech. So this is the poem I'm going to do tomorrow. I just wrote it today, so I'm going to practice. I'll practice on you, fine people. Here it is. Kohil Ahivo, Kusaba towards uh, Gaza. Whose party, being a modern history, oh, okay, oh, 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 oh. okay, sorry, 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 start all again. Whose party, being a modern history, halted? Whose life, being forced to a stop? Whose story, being folded to a scolding? A school, uh, no, 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 I'm sorry, let me start. Let me let me put my glasses on. This is the problem. I need my glasses. <laughs> okay, I'm starting all over again. Uh, 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 heal a heavil. Kwanzaa for, uh, for Gaza. Whose party being a modern history halted? Whose life being forced to a stop? Whose story being folded to a scolded? Whose humane party? Sorry. Whose humane purity is mocked in jest? What now tears the bullets of bombs? What bend is this force towards quest? To this prayers will have no end. So that's the Kwanzaa. And of course, I'm sorry for this rough reading, but I've got to practice. And I'm probably write it on another thing so I can read it better. i got to practice for tomorrow night. Well, let me practice one more time with you fine folks. Hey, you ain't going to no place where you can't buy Celia. Heal a heaval, Kunsaba towards Gaza. Whose party being a... Oh, here we go. Whose party being a modern history halted? Whose life being forced to a stop? Whose story being folded to a scolded? Whose humane purity is mocked in jest? What now tears the bullets of bombs? What bend is this force towards quest? To this prayers will have no end. 
So that's the quartet. Forty nine, forty nine words and three and then four and seven lines. Uh, no more than seven words to a line. Oh, let me turn this back around. So I can say goodbye to you, fine folks. So uh, thank you for letting me uh, practice on you, and um, see you again sometime. And um, well, you know, it's interesting because in, uh, I've written some uh, in all the forms that I use. I, I'm, I'm actually a teacher at heart. And that's what, hence the name brother, we'll get to. I like that. Hey, you're late, uh, Ashrans, whatever, you're, you're late, but, you know, hey, I'm about to leave. But what happens in my, uh, when, when I'm working cre creatively, I'm always trying to find some way to to teach, you know, to teach what I'm what I'm doing. And it always comes usually. I'm always morphing in another way. So this, so I'm teaching the, the people that's the, the three people that's uh, that's writing uh, that's has a writing assignment every day. You have to write every day. Uh, I'm, I'm bringing them along, and if I'm well, I'm, I'm, I'll be successful because I'm always successful. Then this will be a way that um, I can teach people how to write long distance. Don't worry, I'm not going. Don't worry, you have to pay or nothing like that. It's, that's not the way I work, you know, uh, because I, I, I whole literacy program that I work with. Uh, again, I don't, I don't, I'm not a money person. I live low to the ground. Uh, or, or as, as I talked to, uh, I was talking to uh, uh, Mike Sargent, uh, a, a film critic out in New York one time. We was talking about the, the film Joker, and it came up. He said, "Oh, so you're down with the downtrodden?" I said, "Yeah, I'm down with the downtrodden." So I, I guess with the downtrodden, I do the money thing. It's a whole experiment. We'll spend, uh, we'll do that some other time. But I find different ways to uh, to teach literacy, different ways to to motivate people different ways to uh, to pass knowledge on, because I'm up that age, <laughs> I gotta pass it on, you know, and that's about it. Okay, so thank you for listening, talk to you again sometime, bye.